and welcome back to my youtube channel so you already know the fact that there's only three couples y'all know this season is loveless and even by episode one they really shouldn't even really be they should actually just end the show right now because before i get into this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe y'all already know bro to 20k all right guys so the episode starts off with after Aaliyah left him she went back home and yeah uche is left here in the dust so he comes back into the quarters and he's super duper confused about why she's not here why she left and he's just trying to think what actually happened now he surmises that it has something to do with lydia which i think any rational person w w would um but he seems quite bothered by it and of course he's hurt because he walked into that room about to propose and there's nobody to propose to so then he goes and we see him speaking to the producers and i think they said that she went on a plane and left and i was like went on a plane and left and i was thinking this during the episode like because the, the pods and everything looks the same every single year so what i'm assuming is they fly the contestants to the same location whichever city that's in they film there and then they go off to their honeymoons uh, honeymoons engagement honeymoon whatever they go on holiday cool so that's what happened so she's already back in i think it's supposed to be in houston so or Texas, Dallas, somewhere in Texas, child. She's already back in Texas. She's back at home. So, um, yeah, he is speaking to the producers and he's upset that her words and her actions don't add up. And I think that's the problem with Lydia. I'm mean, not Lydia, with Aaliyah. And that's why, I'm sorry, I question her authenticity because why, why can't I understand you? I want to understand you. You're a pretty girl. Like, not that that's the only reason why you can like somebody, but I went in there thinking that, okay, let me be i'm open-minded but everything she's just showing me is just giving i don't i'm not interested it really is giving and she's adding to it by the way in which she behaved now initially when she left did i care about uche's feelings no but i think having sat on it some time has passed speaking to my siblings my sisters things are making more, more sense so the producer offers to call Aaliyah on uche's behalf and that's exactly what happened and then she starts to explain that she's gone home now and she mentioned a disagreement that her and lydia had and mentioned that she said if he doesn't propose to me you can have him back now i don't know why Aaliyah. she i don't know i don't know i don't know what, what she's playing at i don't know what she's playing at because if they're having an argument now we don't even really know of course it was about Uche, but i don't really know what the argument was about but in what world would you be saying if he doesn't propose to me you can have him back if you want him back you're not even right in this guy you're making it seem like if i don't want him he's gonna he's like as if that's what he wants to be i think she's definitely not believing him when he says if i wanted to be with her i would have been with her and i agree with uche one million percent if he wanted lydia he could snap he could snatch her off her milton today and that would be that so her insecurity is making her self-sabotage this situation because don't get me wrong it's already a difficult situation to be in but i don't see what the argument could have been about that you would say something like that and almost like wow well, of course he's gonna propose to you i don't understand why you don't have faith or confidence in it especially when she always says things are gonna be okay we can deal with it we can move on i love you all of this type of stuff again her words and her actions just not adding up and then in that argument lydia was like f you i don't want him so and then Aaliyah started talking about how she feels smothered by Lydia and starts crying again because that girl can't not help herself but to cry. It's irritating, guys. I'm about sick of her crying every single time. You're emotional about every single thing. Like, you put yourself... You know what? Let me not, let me not go all the way there. Okay, so she starts crying and saying how difficult, it, I guess, it was living with Lydia. What I wanted her to do was boss up. If Lydia is talking about him all the time and you don't want to hear it, say that move away from her there's literally another eight girls in the quarters why does it seem like you can't just i think it's because you're letting lydia sorry smother you sorry to some degree the fact that you came back after hearing everything and you're like oh she's gonna be like the aunt to my children like that's your problem so i think that's elia thought she could handle it but she couldn't and the thing is it's more normal for her to have been or natural for her to have been like Uche, I'm gonna need some time. Lydia, I'm gonna need some time. But she was just like, come, come, come. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And it got overwhelming. She needs to live in her truth. And the way she's been behaving doesn't give that um, interpretation at all. So she's saying that she still wants him, she still loves him. So I'm like, so then why did you go? 
you didn't leave with not a message not a pigeon not you didn't tell the producers you didn't leave your, your phone number nothing you left him with nothing and you're talking about you still love him you still want him he was there for the taking you did so it just doesn't give and when she speaks and she's crying she thinks that she, she makes herself seem like the victim sorry guys i'm sorry Aaliyah's bs ain't coming over my head and Aaliyah needs to go where in the bin sorry because it's not coming she's trying to do mind games with me i'm not here for it i'm not here for it she's not going to manipulate me it's not it's impossible because you left you left and uche was saying you let something that lydia say mess up your situation like with us because in his head he's thinking they have a stronger connection than what's going on in the quarters but you came here to find love if you feel like you found it why would you abandon it with no message i'm not saying oh she should stay there with his ex i'm not saying that at all no i am saying that but let's even just say i'm not saying that for a second can't you just leave him something but you running away like you've been running away because accountability is her kryptonite Period. Period, 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 period. And for me, if I found the one that I loved, I'm going to boss up and stay. Yeah, even if it's uncomfortable, I'm going to boss up and stay. If I just have to stay in that room for one more day and I have a whole bunch of other friends, and unless Lydia is literally diagnosed with something that is out of her control, you can put up your boundaries. That was the problem. You guys don't have boundaries. I'm sure y'all cuddle when y'all go to bed and everything like that. Which, again, if y'all want to do that, y'all can do that. But you don't have no boundaries with her you need to start setting up boundaries with her and you didn't and now you're running away because you can't stick in it she needs to be able to stick in it it'll be uncomfortable it's gonna be awkward it's gonna be difficult but go through it she's always trying to go over it she's always trying to go around it no go through it so we can get to a resolution simple and then Aaliyah did say something that was like okay i like what you're saying right here because i think it's not, a couple of you guys were saying in my comment section in a couple of episodes ago that imagine if lydia applied to love is blind knowing that uche did so that's what Aaliyah said and i'm like okay Aaliyah, now we're getting clued up now you're the oh my gosh we're besties besties like now this now logic is starting to enter your skull now do i think lydia did that i don't know would i put it past her no so i think she's now starting to see that even though she seems like she's like almost like love bombing her i know that doesn't really make i don't know can you love some love bomb a friendship i don't know but it's almost like she again like i said she's putting she's doing a hexy thing she's doing something on her and i think Le um, elia's trying to now see the light but i think uche is quite naive in his behavior because he was like oh of course she wouldn't now i don't even know if uche even knows lydia as well as at least what we think we know her to be because i just feel like they were messing around i don't even know if there was any real depth in that relationship because that woman really really does like you and the fact that you thought she wasn't going to say this and she wasn't going to say that i'm just like i don't know who you know because this is really simple things that i would easily predict that lydia would do for me lydia has come across not lydia Lydia has come across selfish by not saying anything especially if she still wants this relationship to continue on she was selfish in the way she behaved which is why she ran away so she was saying she was protecting herself which is fine but you need to at least give him a little something so he can hold on to something else instead of him thinking you left because of him or something like that so um uche definitely was getting annoyed and then i think he said why do i always choose someone that's not good for me why do i always get close to someone that's not good for me you need to ask yourself that because yeah i don't think Aaliyah is the one I don't think Ali is the one. And then she was like, oh, so where do you think we're going to go from here? And yeah, I don't think he was having it in that moment. And I think he actually ended up locking off. But her cheat, the, the story that she told about cheating, in my personal opinion, is foreshadowing this exact behavior, a lack of accountability. If indeed you are going to leave, send him something. But you're saying, oh, so you don't want to be with me anymore. Like, no, you, you made that decision because you left. He's still there. So Aliyah behave please behave so then lydia did i say alia lydia alia whatever alia behave okay so lydia her and milton meet up now for me i got a bit of awkward vibes i'm not convinced by this situation and i wrote it even initially these guys are kissing a lot it's because they are overcompensating they don't have any 
real chemistry other than that they want to bone each other that is the only thing they have in, com um, in common i don't really see any depth any real conversation real compatibility besides them wanting to smash each other that's it now i think it even makes it even more better because when she saw him she's like oh my gosh i'm small i'm cute i'm what she said she called herself spicy and small and fierce or whatever and he's tall he said he's six seven so he's very tall so she's getting excited and i think a lot of women when they hear height a lot of women just move insane so i think and then of course she, she is she's a pretty gal um so i think they're just both excited just to discover each other let's say that but uh, is there anything real coming out absolutely not so like i said in the beginning of this video there are literally only three couples so this is a very loveless season so they end up going on their getaway for me this getaway was very very uncomfortable seeing jp and taylor i think just throughout let me even see if i can just do all of them right mm, let me know i'm just still going order with JP and Taylor, a lot of it is super duper awkward. This man is a man of such few words. It hurts me, guys. I'm such a talker. To even bear witness to this makes me uncomfortable. I'm not even involved. You see what I'm saying? I'm not even involved. And I feel super, super uncomfortable. Now, she even said, I cried multiple times after, we, after the reveal because... I wasn't sure whether you liked me. I didn't really know what to think. I couldn't really gauge anything. And it's because of his lack of communication. Because that's how I know how someone feels. Of course, actions speak louder than words and blah, 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 blah. But your words are still important. And when she even says that, does he even do anything to rectify that or to convince her otherwise? No. So this conversation ain't gonna go nowhere it's not i mean she's of course trying to overcome and overcompensate i think by saying she overthinks which might be true but taylor you ain't I mean, you, you're not wrong like for me the moment that you guys had awkward conversation in the pods that would have immediately not been my person i'm telling you guys i can talk for gb for, for team gb i can talk so I don't understand what's happening over here. It's not making any sense. Izzy and Stacey, they are getting on. Lydia and Milton, um, again, they're kissing again. They, we should see them in the shower. People them are in the in a hot tub. People are definitely getting it on. Now, Lydia is here saying that she feels like she sees Milton as 24 to some, like, to some degree. She's saying it's fine now. It's going to get to a point when there's decisions to be made when serious conversations need to be had, when they actually need to start planning things out, that's when it's going to become an irritant to her. But right now, she's fine and she's just going with the flow. JP and Taylor. Now, JP, I'm not going to lie. I'm not big up everybody, everybody's beliefs, but the fact that this man wears an American flag all the time is giving me type of vibes. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's giving me them type of vibes. I'm not feeling it. Like he has so much attire so much merchandise or apparel or whatever with the american flag now big up the us of a yeah big it up but the fact that he reps it so heavy is giving sus vibes um and i'm not feeling it and it's so funny because i think i remember saying that like, he's like typical american like one of those ones that ride like really really ride super super patriotic and there's not i guess there's nothing wrong with being patriotic but like why is that your personality why is it oh i can have about a white top or an american flag top and he's like yeah the american flag like no no sorry and for me people that dress a certain type of way behave a certain type of way yes i'm making i'm drawing conclusions but sometimes what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong isn't it? it is what it is um and like i said no chemistry doesn't reassure her nothing he doesn't give her anything uh, you would think if she's now telling you her concerns do you speak do i have to hold the conversation he would make more of an effort but he just sits there and smiles and i'm not gonna lie sometimes i find it super duper creepy i don't even i'm not saying that he is i just find it that someone's telling you something it's almost like okay someone's there but no one's home what's up it's almost like you're speaking to a brick wall and it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense now they both said both of their parents are divorced and they're not going through that if common sense and wisdom is something that they have they would not be getting married because this is stupid if you guys on day two of meeting each other in person 
are behaving like this, only God knows what's gonna happen later on. <laughs> only God knows. So even to the point where now he said that he really likes her eyes that day. I think he said they're tantalizing or something like that, I guess whatever that is. And then she said, Are you lying? Now for me that was telltale because I'm like, why would you question his authenticity? Now you can look at it in two ways. It's either he is disingenuous and untrustworthy or she isn't trusting and she has a lot of insecurities it could be either but i think he genuinely doesn't give even yeah he's kissing her and even when he kisses he's like like why are you always got like give yourself whiplash to kiss somebody it's not all, not all that serious so i think for me it's more so that she doesn't trust him because in we all have a way that okay also we have our love languages and stuff like that we all know how we would like to be talked to how we would like to be loved on or whatever so when someone doesn't really do it in the way that we understand it or in the same frequency or something it feels the type of way because some people will be like if someone doesn't text me every day they don't like me some other people will be like that's not the case for me it just really depends on the situation and i said here i hope they haven't done the do because this would be such a waste of time considering all the other couples are doing it that's fine for them uh stacy said is he got a big d um and she seemed quite pleased by it so okay okay um yeah i think yeah and that's the thing is with the whole jp and taylor thing again if i keep on talking about them i'm gonna be saying the exact same thing over and over again there's no effort he doesn't seem serious he's not interested she feels like she made the wrong decision and he said making conversation is awkward it's because he's not comfortable but i don't know if he's not comfortable by as a person or if he's not comfortable with her but he needs to be more expressive of what the issue is because there definitely is one but he's just not expressing it lydia and milton are making it age jokes okay again this is going to be an issue soon when when they want to really start talking about something serious but okay Stacy and Izzy they have a conversation before meeting the other couples and Stacy says don't speak Spanish to <laughs> Lydia because of course she won't be able to understand and it kind of reminds me of Made in Chelsea when uh Mava was dating oh was dating wow when well, well she was initially dating um what's her man's name James and uh what's this idiot boy's name and then miles used to come and they used to speak french or, or same and vice versa or whatever and he, he didn't understand he was like don't do that <laughs> so anyways they end up meeting the other couples and everybody else is super super touchy feely and jp and taylor are really not and he definitely you can see it stacy was mentioning how people were saying that izzy's a player but she thinks he's very sweet and he's different to that sorry Izzy and uh, Lydia had a really unnecessary conversation because it was literally a repetition of what he said in the pods. So I don't really understand what the purpose was. I think because there's not a lot of couples, there's not a lot of content. So the producers really tried to stretch out this episode. For me, you could have just made it 40 minutes and we would have been satisfied. But okay, I wanted to drag this out. Um, Taylor is saying that she doesn't feel comfortable which I agree and then she's trying to convince herself that maybe I need to try more and maybe I need to do more and it's not you baby it's him it's not you and she brings it up to JP again and he has feelings about it because I think he's also feeling uncomfortable but he needs to mention that simple he needs to just mention that so they said they need to have a conversation over dinner guys this conversation is not going to go well I'm just I don't even have the energy for them to because this is just such a waste of time let's wrap this up but guys, <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.